Our question of the day is up. We want to know your thoughts on the push for higher fares by drivers of taxi hailing apps. And um, your feedback is coming in uh, steadily. I want to interrogate like one specific comment that I saw from uh, George Washira, who mm-hmm. says uh, the rates are, I think he meant impractical. He says practical, but I think he meant those rates are very impractical. Mm-hmm. I honestly don't understand how they have been surviving and paying loans, considering they take 70% of what you pay. Mm-hmm. Um, that's I'm guessing the apps take 70% of what you pay is what he's trying to say. Mm-hmm. I've always topped, out, topped up without anyone asking because I understand how a car works. Uh, I think the percentage is 25 is what um, is taken as commissioned by most apps, but some more than others. Mm-hmm. Um, I know there was legislation to have it be 18%. I'm not sure how that went. Uh, but also the fact that a lot of people, a lot of drivers, yes, they're paying loans for those vehicles. Or like you said, it may not be your vehicle, it's someone else's. So they have to get your cut, you have to get your cut. And then, of course, the cost of fuel hit 200 bob at least i mm-hmm. kidogo but pay liko very high so mambo ni mengi understandably so Aye. but now when we start putting passengers in danger in the name of higher fares and locking people in cars that's where i left the chat okay let's speak a call nation fm good morning